Hi, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Cloud Comms Analog Adapter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see what's in the box that we've got from Cloud Comms for our Analog Adapter, and then we'll look how we set it up. So the box opens like so, and inside we've got our power adapter. We've also got our analog adapter, and then just underneath the cardboard, we've also got an RJ45 or Ethernet lead. Now, I'll just put the box to one side as we don't need that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to connect your analog adapter to your router or to your switch. Now, to do this, simply take out the packet, and the two ports on the back, you've got the green one that's for your phone, and you've also got a blue one. That's the one we want to plug into. That's for your router or for your switch. Now, if you've not already got an RJ45 or Ethernet lead, please use the one that was supplied with the adapter. I, however, have got one just down here. And all I need to do is plug it into the blue port like so, until you hear the click, like that. Now what we want to do is we want power to the adapter. So take out the power plug, just undo the twist tie. And then right next to where we've just put the ethernet lead, you'll see a little power import. Just take your adapter, make sure it's the right way up, and just plug that in like so. Now we want to plug this into the mains. What you'll now see is the lights will start turning on, like so. And you just want to leave that for a minute so it can start setting itself up. While it's setting itself up, let's get your analog phone ready to be connected to the adapter. So you should also have received from Cloudcoms something that looks like this. Now, it might not look exactly like this, but it'll serve the same purpose. And what this is, is an analog, basically an analog phone adapter for your lead. So you'll have an RJ11 on one side, and then the other side, you have a traditional phone port. So what this looks like is if I get the end of my analog phone lead, it looks like this. So it's your flat but long connector. Probably quite familiar if you're using an analog phone. All you want to do is plug this into the port on the back of the adapter, like so. Again, until you hear the click. And then you want to take the RJ11 end of this adapter and just plug it into the green port on the back of the device. Like so. So you should have your phone going into the green port and you should have your RJ45 or Ethernet lead going into the blue port. And that's it. All you need to do now is wait up to 15 minutes for it to get itself set up. It'll do any updates that's required of it. And then when all three lights appear blue, like this, you're ready to go make calls.